Down number nine, who we are against is quite a unit. Had some Squidward's doing backwards roly polies at the moment. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. In this video, I have got my very first episode of the Beer Pro series. As you can see in that top left corner, I did sign for Tasman as Handsome Squidward is the name. Of course, I let Isaac create my character. He is unfortunately left footed, even though we did put him as right. But he is going to be a halfback, and hopefully, he is going to be a star in the making. Look at that face. How can he not be? He is 61 rated at the moment, but hopefully we can make him a whole lot higher very soon. But nonetheless, if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Our first game is going to be up against Wellington at Orange Theory Stadium, but yeah, let's get right into this match. Both squads are packed with talent and experience. Justin Marshall for Royal Black joins me here. Right, here are the lineups. Unfortunately, because this Beer Pro was created a little while ago, it means that the Mitre 10 Cup teams aren't completely up to date. But we have still got a pretty good backline for Tasman overall. There is Handsome Squidward. He is hopefully going to have an impact in this match. But we have got the likes of Talia, Fayana, Nuku, and all sorts in our backline. So hopefully with that, we will be able to get a win on debut here for Handsome Squidward. Right, and there are the benches. Hopefully we will get a full 80 minutes here as Handsome Squidward. We are on pro, so it is going to be quite difficult at the start because of the fact that we are only 61 rated. But hopefully... We will be able to move our way up through those rankings and have a good match here. It is going to be Mitch Hunt here kicking off this match for Tasman in the first match of Handsome Squidward's career. They are going to the side that he isn't on. So luckily we don't have to get involved too early. Oh, but we might have to make that tackle. It is going to be Handsome Squidward who makes the tackle. Oh, no, he doesn't. He got shunted off, unfortunately. The poor little halfback there. Now, something that I will have to get used to is the fact that he is going to be left-footed here rather than the right-footed that we did set him at. Oh no, I've missed a tackle once again. Handsome Squidward not starting this match, as he would have been liking, that is for sure. I am going to quickly change our ruck commitment to high as well. We want to try and keep that ball as long as we can. He is still going. I almost had to make that tackle. That's Handsome Squidward there. Right, can we make a tackle? That is the big question. I've missed another one, and now they are having a good run down the wing. And he has done a high kick there, and luckily it is taken by our number 15. I believe his last name, if I'm not wrong, was Whitelock. There are a few players who are scattered around who don't actually have their real name, so that is going to be a little bit of a struggle. Handsome Squidward shunted off once again, but that is a great tackle. Tell you what, Handsome Squidward here has got to kick it in behind. He has got the left foot. That one has gone straight down the middle, and he is going to be chasing this one hard. We've got to put them under pressure. We have completed kicking meters, which is a good start, which means we are going to be going up through the rankings a little bit. Now they are using their back line. Handsome Squidward is sidestepping there. Are they going to be able to get back to their feet there, Mark Talia? Not quite. Now he has gone round the side. Handsome Squidward has made a tackle. They are driving here, and I believe because I am the halfback, that means I actually have to do the scrums and the lineouts. So on pro, that is going to be a little bit difficult. That is a good run from whoever that is. I might have to make the tackle on him. I am trying to avoid making too many missed tackles. And saying that, I just made another one, unfortunately. But they have dropped the ball here. I feel like this match will be very close between these two sides. What is Handsome Squibber going to do with it from here? I am going to try and pass it out our back line a little bit. They have gone back on the inside. Hopefully, we will be able to keep that ball. Have we got it still? Yes, we do. We have still got the advantage as well. So if we can find a gap here... And have that advantage over that would be great they have gone back on the inside once again now are they going to use the backs not quite and we are going back for the scrum and like i said this one is going to be all me and some squidward is going to be feeding this ball into the scrum and then he is going to have to try and win the scrum for his side hopefully they don't get a perfect push and unfortunately, one thing that kind of sucks is the fact that I'm not allowed to set up a set play from here. But Handsome Squibber running sideways, passes it back to Nankavel. Goes out to Fatuli Pie inside ball to our number five. Now our number eight's having a run as well. Hopefully the boys will be able to keep this ball, and they haven't, unfortunately. Which means now more than likely we will have to make a tackle around the side of the ruck. And we have tried to, but we've been shunted off by our opposite number once again. These Wellington boys are hard to put down by the looks of it. We haven't quite been able to rip that ball away for Tasman there. Now it is passed out, and that's another couple broken tackles. Drag him down, Squidward. No, he wasn't quite able to. And now they are passing around Wellington. Squidward is getting a little bit confused at where he's supposed to be at the moment. I think I'm over committing a little bit. I keep on committing to that first tackle, but haven't quite lined one up yet because of the fact that our number nine, who we are against, is quite a unit. Had some Squidward's doing backwards roly polies at the moment. He is struggling big time to make a tackle. He's got to make three. Have we got that ball? Not quite, unfortunately. I possibly should have looked at joining that ruck. That one's had some Squidward's. No, he's been shunted off again. The poor fella. You'll get them eventually, Squidward. Take him down. No, he's been shunted off by Jackson Garden Bishop now. And now they are going wide. I might have to try an aggressive tackle soon. 
but unfortunately doing aggressive tackles can lead to yellow cards and that is not what Squibber wants. He has made a tackle there though, so that is the second of the match. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am extremely hyped for this be a pro mode. It has been a long time coming. We did one right when the channel started posting Rugby Challenge, but it didn't actually have commentary and we weren't able to be in the Mighty 10 Cup slash New Zealand Cup. So I am very happy that we are going to be trying to move up through the rankings, maybe make it a Super Rugby as well. If we are lucky, it has gone wide to Fatuli Pai. He might look for the inside ball. Well, he's gone to Nankavell, who's dropped the ball, unfortunately. And now it is going to be a scrum to Wellington. And something I should do while I remember is I'm going to check what I have to do in this match. I have to get a drop goal, of course, score a try. We need to make one more tackle and have a line break. That's going to be tough for Squidward to do, but hopefully we will be able to tick off at least one more of those. What is he going to do with it? He is going to go to the right here. It has gone on the outside to Mitch Hunt, who's been clotheslined. Will he back himself from 60 metres, Mitch Hunt, for this kick? That is the question. Of course, handsome Squidward has the number nine. Maybe one day we will be able to become the kick taker, but he is going to the bin there, the Wellington player. Mitch Hunt, will he back himself? It is going to be half time. He's going to take it on. Mitch Hunt, fair play to him. Is this one going over though? That is the big question. Of course on pro, it is a lot tougher when we are kicking. But for the AI, they normally can nail these ones. And Mitch Hunt, tell you what, it's straight down the middle as well. And that is going to give Tasman the lead going into half time. A decent start to the match overall. A lot of handling errors for Wellington, which did help us out. Handsome Squidward has made two tackles so far. He needs one more if he does want to tick off that objective. We had least possession and territory in that first half, so we have done well to be leading going into half time. 18 tackles to 42 there. Handling errors, they had three, like I said. We've only had one, which is pretty impressive, and they've had that yellow card, so we have got a little bit of an advantage going into the start of the second half. He's offside on this side, so I am going to try going out there. It's gone two for two. Pyre on the wing, is he going to put the inside ball? No he's not, and he is in touch which means now I am going to have to do the line out. Where are they going to go? That is the question. We are going to compress like they did and hopefully we will be able to win this one. Oh is it our ball? Yes it is and now it is going to be Squibbert who goes back to Mitch Hunt, goes to Mark Talia, out to Nankavell now who's done a kick up high, it is going to be chased by Lester Fainanuku playing a little bit of territory there and it almost worked out for us. That's a ball I should have, I should have been able to get him, is that out on the full? Yes it is, a mistake from our opposite number, we want to make sure we are the best halfback in this match and at the moment, other than the fact that he shunted us off about 20 times, I think we are possibly doing that. It is going to be Makaleo who has got this throw I believe, unfortunately I have to be him for these throws, which means that they could go anywhere but that could be a driving opportunity here. Full Tasman, if we can get them going, yes we can, we are driving up the middle, we're going sideways unfortunately here, but it is going to be alright, we have lured quite a few of them in now, it's going to be Squibbert, goes back to Mitch Hunt, one more, out to, I believe it was Havili, goes to Leicester Fainanuku, it's going to be our number 15 white lock, and he scores the first try of this match, and the be a pro mode. And I am very happy with that back line. <laughs> Handsome Squibber gives him a little nod there. But he does get the job done at halfback by the looks of it. Takes that ball. Passes it to Mitch Hunt. Goes to Sione Harveli. And he wrapped around the back as well. Handsome Squibber to be the next player in support. And then from there, White Lock too quick. And he was able to score the try. Now it is going to be Mitch Hunt who is kicking. Hopefully we are going to become the goal kicker eventually. But for now, Mitch Hunt hopefully will be able to get the job done for us. That one has gone straight down the middle from Mitch Hunt. And now we are leading this match 10-0 after 51 minutes. And that man who did go to the bin, he will be back on the field now. That might almost be our ball, not quite. Can we make that tackle? Yes, we have. Great tip tackle there from Handsome Squidward. Almost able to get that ball back, but not quite. We need to stop Wellington from scoring a try here or else they will take the momentum straight back. Have we got that ball? Not quite, unfortunately. Handsome Squidward got close to that one, you could say. Did we get that ball? Not quite. Handsome Squidward's going to get back on side and he is going to have another go. He has tackled his opposite number as well. Starting to get the hang of it now, Handsome Squidward. And that is a weird name to get used to saying, Handsome Squidward. He's just missed another one, unfortunately, for him. Little bit of a back line looking like it was going to happen, but now there is an injury. And it is Taylor Little, who is not a real person, I don't believe. But he is pretty injured, so now it is going to be Taroa, who is going to be coming onto the field. Oh, is that a tackle? No, it's not. He's broken through. And now it's going to be Blackwell who's having a bit of a run. And I have actually gotten in that ruck. And because of it, we weren't able to get the ball. <laughs> Unfortunately, I thought we were going to get that one. Has he got the tackle? Well, yes, he has dragged him down. Handsome Squidward. Good job from him. And we have actually turned that ball over now. And that one has been dropped, though. So now it is going to be another scrum. And at the moment, Tasman just can't quite get out of their 22. 
And Wellington are slowly building up the pressure. Oh, what? <laughs> it's a Squidward. Has been taken off the field, unfortunately. He's not too happy about it. Look at that nose. But nonetheless, now I am actually going to resume the match. I do want to see how this one ends. Are they going to go for a set play? No, they aren't. But it's going to be their number nine now. Going to the number eight. It looks like Garden Bishop was trying to find that gap. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find that gap and get that line break that we were after. But hopefully we will be able to get it in the next one. Tasman trying hard to get this ball. It's not quite happening for them though. And they are slowly driving for Wellington. And lately we just haven't quite been able to get out of our 22. And now it's going to be dangerous because it is the bus down the wing. And now they are very close to the line. But they have been driven into touch there Tasman. It is that number 8. The man who went to the bin as well. He is frustrated. Unfortunately yeah it is very hard to tell what the numbers are at this stage with how far away the camera is and also who the players are in those numbers because half of them aren't actually real but nonetheless we are at 80 minutes so we can't lose from here it is going to be Julian Savia now having a good run down the wing the bus but he wasn't quite able to get through unfortunately for Wellington they are still throwing everything at it you'd say they've had the better of the second half unfortunately though for them because of that yellow card we were able to get the early try that has gone to Blackwell who's starting another drive that seems to be a key in the Wellington team's tactics at this stage throughout this match we are up to 90 minutes now they are still going for it here Wellington can we get that ball back? That is the big question and at the moment the answer is no. They are going to keep on attacking. They have found a gap up the middle. The number 10 I think it was. Is that a 10? I'm not sure. <laughs> These numbers are hard to read. It is like the preseason game for Super Rugby Aotearoa between the Highlanders and the Hurricanes. They had about two different guys who were number 19 which did make it very awkward when you were trying to work out who was subbed off and on. We have got the ball back now though. Is this one going out? That is the question. They are looking for it but it is now an advantage. And they have kicked it backwards there. We're up to 96. This game's going to go the 100 at the moment. That number 10's had a great run there. And now they have gone on the inside. Advantage must be close to over. This game must be close to over. We're up to 98 minutes. Blackwell running up the middle. Advantage over. We are going to be up to 99 minutes now. They only probably have one more attack. One more pass before it will be the 100. And they will be dropping the ball. Are they going to get the pass in in time? That is the question. As soon as he passes this, it is advantage. Because of the fact that we are at 100. I didn't realise this game was going to be going to the 100. To be honest, it is fired back to Mitch Hunt who's dropped it as well. And that is going to be the end of the game. But the first game of the season, the first game of Handsome Squidward's career has been a win. It is a victory over Wellington 10-0. Unfortunately, yes, we did miss a few tackles. But I feel like as we get used to this be a pro, we will start to make a few more and also hopefully be able to get a try eventually. Hopefully it won't take us too long. But a good win for Tasman there. We were able to score the one try. It was our fullback Whitelock. Mitch Hunt was able to convert and also get that penalty goal from about 56 metres out, which was very impressive. Wellington left scoreless. We had hardly any possession, hardly any territory. They had more line breaks. We made three times the tackles. So it is fair to say that Wellington will be utterly disappointed that they weren't able to get the win over this Tasman side. But nonetheless, now we get to find out who is our next opponent going to be. And there he is, Handsome Squidward. We were able to tick off two out of the five, which I am happy enough with tackles. And then we made six, so we did well in that second half to make four. Double what we did in that first half. But hopefully we can get our fitness up, our speed up. And that acceleration as well. We want to be a quick halfback so we can find those line breaks later on in the season. Oh, and by the looks of it, Tasman aren't too happy with our performance. Maybe that is why we got subbed off. Unfortunately, we did miss a lot of tackles. 18 to be precise. That is a huge number. But hopefully we will be able to improve throughout the season, like I said. Oh, and it doesn't get any easier for us. Our next game is going to be up against Canterbury. That is going to be a very tough one, but that is going to be the end of this video as well. If you did enjoy and you are hyped for this new Be A Pro series, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next one.